Welcome to the Good Karma Sport Fishing Podcast. I'm your host, Captain Ryan Van Fleet. And welcome to the Good Karma Success Coach Podcast. I'm your host, Melinda Van Fleet. Well, good morning, Captain Ryan. Yeah, good morning. Happy September 2nd. It's September 2nd, all right. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. And I want to say congratulations on your TripAdvisor Award. Oh, boy. I know. It's awesome. Yes. It's really, really, really great, and we're so appreciative of all of Ryan's clients out there that have left a review on TripAdvisor. When I looked at it yesterday, he has 75 perfect five-star reviews. Oh, stop. He's so afraid to jinx himself. Yes, I'm very superstitious. So. so if someone were to intentionally do something evil, that would just be bad karma on you. I'm going to say it like that. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> so we would know, and we would know. So anyhow, but um, it's really to say thank you to everyone out there. And Ryan really struggled with putting himself on TripAdvisor about three years ago. It was actually three years ago now. It was the same time he started the podcast. And it was a lot of kind of um, mindset work, I'm going to say, mindset work to get over it and put himself out there because unfortunately there are so many people in this world that put bad reviews just to be vengeful, they lie, all sorts of things. So (laughs) it was a lot of mindset work for Ryan to do that and we just really appreciate the support of the community and all of his clients that have left really nice reviews for him over the years, over the three years that he's been on TripAdvisor. So we got a TripAdvisor award and that's like really, really cool. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, thank you guys. I really appreciate it. I wasn't expecting to get an award. So no, he wasn't at all. <laughs> I'm not as you guys know it, just from the way that I am is that I'm very much not about winning something or or, or recognition. It's really For me, I just try to give my clients the best opportunity to catch fish. And that's really what it comes down to every day. Every day I think about um, it's it's tough because it's a business. But in the end, I, I, I like to fish so much. That I think that's where I sometimes I'm like, yeah, you you know, I I like the fish so much. And all I do is thinking about is catching more fish for my clients. That's it. And new and better ways to do it. So with that being said, I don't really think about anything else. I get asked about winning tournaments. Yeah, Ryan doesn't fish any tournaments. I I don't fish any tournaments. I fished one years ago. I absolutely hated it. Um, It wasn't my thing. And I didn't, I, I, I don't fish any tournaments. Um, so I, every day I get out of bed and all I think about is how I can catch more fish for my clients and what I can do new to show clients something new. So that's it. And and that's it. And that's, and I don't really think about winning awards at all. Yeah. No, Ryan was blown away and immediately I was like, yay, I wanted to post it. And he was like, (gasps) And even just now, like if we would be on YouTube and you could see his face, you could totally see the anxiety rush through his veins. But I just really feel it needs to be said. So there you go. I said it. Yeah. I don't have mindset issues because I know if someone posted someone something evil, it would be on them. So yeah, it's just how it is. <laughs> it's how the world is and we keep rolling with it. Yeah, we so. just keep rolling with yeah. it. But thank you guys. I, I do really appreciate it. And like I said, it's – I. It's one of those things. So yeah. thank you. So with that being said, it's kind of a great segue because I, I did throw a loop and, and not tell you that I was going to say that. No, on she the didn't. Podcast. <laughs> no, because I didn't want to talk about it. Yeah, but I just did. So, I think you're all right. That's fine. So I want to segue into what we were going to talk about, which is being yourself. Being yourself. And not listening to what other people say you should do or be or how you should be. And there's a lot of growth and evolution in that. And I'm not perfect at this. And it's something that I had an experience last week that was fine. It was just kind of like an eye-opening experience where I I recognized something on on another level and I 
podcasted about that on Confident Conversations. And Ryan and I started talking about this general idea in regards to the fact that he has been like this with his charters. And he, to give a very clear cut example of what I'm talking about is he doesn't do the fishing for his charter clients. So when they come on the boat, they have to be the ones to reel in the fish. Of course, he helps them and gives them tips and um, feedback. And sometimes he's probably a little intense on that. And over the years, you know, there have been some people that have said, oh, you need to, you know, pipe it down or, you know, whatever. But that's not Ryan. And so over the years, the clients that have been attracted to fish with him are the clients that want to learn, that want to reel in the fish, that want to have that sense of ownership and pride when they're the ones that reel in the fish versus other fishing charters where the mates end up reeling in the fish because they're afraid the clients are going to lose it and they know that they have to get fish for the day, right? So there is a very different type of charter for um, what Ryan offers versus what a lot of other charters offer. So it, we had a big discussion around that, and um, and I'm just going to toss it now to you because I know I just talked a lot. <laughs> yeah, no, and then that's that's it too. I, I've just – one thing I've just learned, you know, because when I first started in the business, I had so many people telling me what I should do and what I shouldn't do. And and as a young guide, you get confused and you really just don't know. Mm-hmm. You know, that was I was getting torn in different directions and everybody has their opinion and – People were telling you, "Oh, you need to you need to reel in the fish for the clients." Yeah, and Ryan was like, "No." Oh, you need to be dolphin fishing in July. You shouldn't be bottom fishing in July. And I, I was all confused by all this stuff. So, so I fell into the dolphin fishing thing. So, and then, you know, so anyway, so for me personally, I want my clients to have the absolute best experience, and if I see somebody doing something wrong, um, how I communicate is different than a lot of other people. And when you have a guy that just sits up at his tower and has his mate try to explain what to do, it's not coming from the captain. The captain is the one that runs the boat, not the fishing mate. So you have to remember that. When you're booking a trip, and we've been on several trips with um, mates and captains and and when the mate would try to tell me what to do, I, I wasn't getting a good vibe about how the mate would explain it. But when the captain would come down and he would talk to you and like spend some time with you, then that's an that's when you felt like everything was good. So and things were that's that's what I really liked. So hence why I run the kind of trips that I run. So because I want people to learn and and everybody learns a little differently. And hear it directly from you. And hear it directly from me. I I came up in an environment where I, I played athletics a lot. I, I you know I played athletics through high school, and when you're in competitive athletics and sporting events, and the coaches they they take they're pretty hard on you sometimes. Yeah, they're pretty hard on you, and but when I realize that they're that that's just their emotion, they're caught up in the excitement as well and sometimes things come off a little weird and you're like and then when you think about it you're like oh okay you know so they're just excited they want you to learn yeah but also too there's people that can handle being coached like that yeah right right and they're self-led and they have the drive and they have the discipline they just need that push and then there's just people in this world that that can't and it's it's not for them it, it's just not for them. It would be too much for them. And that's what makes the world go round. So that's okay. Like if you're one of those people that are like, you know, I can't handle getting yelled at because of, you know, whatever, then then that's fine. That's totally cool. And it's good that you know about that about yourself and you know about that about if you um, were to book a fishing charter with a captain that is more um, – 
lively and enthusiastic yeah. <laughs> than someone who's like, oh, yeah, you missed the fish. Okay, yeah, let's just troll around some yeah. more. You know, it's, it's just different. You know, some people want that. I, I personally am not really into fishing. I like to go with Ryan, but I just eat Fritos and play music. So I, I wouldn't want to get yelled at if I missed the fish. So yeah. <laughs> I would be that person that would book a charter right. that has two mates and I kind of catch a fish and I get a picture and I got to sit in the air conditioned cuddy and that was my day. Right. So I'm t- technically not your ca- your client. Like yeah. I'm just not. Let's just that's say, okay. Yeah. You say, for example, you're going to go wa- – so I got wahoo fishing coming up. Okay. This is a good example. Wahoo fishing is not for everybody. Okay. Even though everyone says they want to catch a wahoo. Even though fish. everybody <laughs> says they want to catch a wahoo, it's it's intense. It's intense. It's an adrenaline rush like you'll never experience before in, in fishing. And it's it's hard. And especially when you're doing it on lighter gear, which I do, and I don't do it with a mate. You are involved with everything. You are if I tell you you're gonna gaff the fish, you're gonna gaff the fish. So that's just how things roll in the intense moment. Last year, we caught a 75-pound wahoo with a dad and three kids from, I don't know, uh, somewhere in the Midwest. And the dad had never been wahoo fishing before. And we got got the 70-pound fish to the side of the boat, and it was dark out. You couldn't see the fish. And one of the kids was on the reel, and they backlashed the rod. And I had to grab the rod to keep the fish from busting off. And I walked up the rail. I said, "I told the dad, you're going to have to gaff the fish." The dad looked at me like, "What?" He goes, "Yeah, you're going to have to gaff it if you want it bad enough." So, and it was an intense moment. You got a 75 pound fish that wants to eat you alongside the boat. I go, "Take the gaff and just remember everything you've seen on those YouTube channels. You better apply it now." <laughs> Now's your chance. You and get I one said, shot. "And you get one shot. You're going to have one shot at this fish. If you miss it, you miss it. He's gone." But that's the type of stuff that happens out there. And he, the dad, I had two scenarios last year when this happened, and the the dads each hit him on every shot. They so did it. They did. One shot, boom. One shot, boom. They did it. And you know what? They'll remember that the rest of their lives. Yeah, they'll have that sense of pride and purpose. Pride that and they, purpose. That they did that. So I say hit the gaff. When I say hit him, I, and I mean I would, you're going to hit it. And it's wild, man. That fish comes overboard. And he's flailing all over the place and you just hit him with a gaff and you better not like you better be ready because it's intense. Yeah, yeah. So if you can't handle that kind of stuff, then you're then, not the charter for that. Then it's I'm not the charter. It's yeah. an intense fishery. Uh, like I said, I don't fish with a mate. There's a reason why is because I want people to be involved and participate and learn. So what's important to know is that you figured out your brand, and you stuck with it. You stuck with it. Yep, I stuck with it. And your clients find you. Yep. And that's what I want to get across today as a coach because out there in coaching world, in the land of being an entrepreneur, an online entrepreneur, the old paradigm of marketing is that you write out who's your target customer, okay? So I might write out, oh, Sally Sue and this and that, and she's, you know, 35, and, you know, I might write this big list, but then you look at it with the new paradigm of coaching and go, okay, that young lady isn't going to want to work with me (laughs) because this is how I am. And changing that mindset around who you are and being in your zone of genius, your true authentic self, so the right clients find you, that is the magic. So Good Karma Sport Fishing, Ryan, me behind the scenes, have been doing that for years. But we had to learn that. We had to learn that. We learned that with the Dargal. Yeah. With fishing uh, in the backcountry. You were like, ah, eh, this isn't working out. Yeah. You learned that by how you mentioned, you know, people telling you to dolphin fish in July. That didn't work out. We've been through the mate thing when we first started. That didn't work out. 
So you learn by trial and error and pivoting and tweaking and changing. But at the end of the day, it's been pretty amazing that, you know what, you just have to figure out what you're really good at. What are your skills, your strengths, and focus on that versus the old paradigm of coming up with your marketing, your target avatar, blah, 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 blah. Stop. Stop that. Figure out what your strengths are and how you can help people and focus in that direction. Focus in that direction versus all this other noise out there. And you also have to remember that a lot of those people that are teaching that style created their business, you know, 10 years ago when the ocean was less bloody, which just means there's less competition. So now there's more competition and you really have to zone in and figure out who you are so you can easily, effortlessly, with less overwhelm, less stress, help people. And that's how you can make a shift to build your business. Yep. And that's what you did. Yeah, that's what I did. I, I stay focused with that. Mm-hmm. You, you stay know? focused. Yep. I don't get like, you see things all the time. You're like, well, maybe I should do that. And like in the end, you're like, no. No. And no. use your intuition. I use my intuition. Uh, it takes some time to think about it. It takes some time to think about it. And what comes down to is like I, I do uh, what I most enjoy doing. And and that's – I have a lot of that I have a lot of passion in because if I don't have a lot of passion, then I'm – Right. I'm, I'm worthless. Right. I'm worthless. Right. And that goes into intention the same as your passion. So if you create a post – and social media and you don't have any passion for it, you don't love it, you don't think the picture of yourself is great, you don't like what you wrote, you know, there's various elements and aspects to that, the whole energy of the post is going to come down because you weren't passionate about it. You weren't excited to put it out there. And I think a lot of people struggle with that too. Yeah. So you have to find passion in pretty much everything you do. But that's the easy part. So once you realize that and get out of your overthinking brain and be like, oh, I love this post. You know, when you look at your feed, do you love your feed? I love my feed. I love my feed. I love my colors. Makes me happy. I love the pictures I've posted. Do you love your feed? Yeah, of all the porgies. You do. Oh, he just smiled. See, we maybe we should be on YouTube. You should see his big smile. Uh, I don't smile. He, very he loves often. his porgies. I think it's kind of goofy, to be really honest. Yeah, it's just but a goofy thing. He loves it. He loves his goofy porgies. And if there's someone out there that doesn't like it, you know what? Then Ryan's not for you. That's exactly it. That's it. Right? Yeah. I if love, you don't like his porgy <laughs> post, then yeah. Ryan is not for you. No. It's <laughs> intense. But I, gotta, I, I want you guys to know one thing is that um, it's – you just got to like, – like I said, you have to do what makes you happy. You know? So I, 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 I don't like Instagram, but some for, so I found a balance – and the balance was doing those funny, doing the porgy posts. And that's one of the yeah, other things. I found a balance. I have fun with it now. And that's it. Uh, the, and if you want the real fishing reports, you have to listen to the, they have to download the app. Mm-hmm. So I'll tell you, that's when I tell people exactly what's going on with the, you know, with the depth of the fish and that and all that kind of stuff. So I, 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 that's where that kind of stuff, you can find that stuff. I don't post that kind of stuff on Instagram. Yeah. So download so, the app and get can, the fishing report yep. and do all that stuff. Do so, that. Yep. Yeah. So, well, thank you for sharing these thoughts with me today and having a conversation, Captain Ryan. What do you have coming up? What are you working on? I'm healing up my elbow. So from the month of July was brutal on me and August was brutal on me as well. So I'm, I'm healing up this week. So I'm on the mend, and then I'll be back at it next week. But um, we this past this week we are in the process of getting ready for the fall season. So we spent the week with my mechanic Scott, and we uh, fine tuned the you know, we worked on the autopilot all week and made all the adjustments that we need for Wahoo season because the autopilot is is crucial in getting dialed in on on Wahoo fishing. 
And then we made several adjustments to um, add a new uh, new uh, sonar charting and all that good stuff as well for this fall, which I may talk about here in the future. And Brandon, the owner of Adrenaline Rods, worked hard on designing new Wahoo rods for this fall. It To get a custom rod made, it takes a while. And I've been working with Brandon for several years on perfecting rods, which has taken some time. And we got the order in. I got the order in last, uh, I think it was late last week. And oh my God, are they badass. Yeah, he was so excited when he came home with the rods. He was like, oh my God, these are so cool. Yeah. And we've known Brandon for over five years now. Yeah. Probably like six years, I would say. Right. Um, one thing about custom rods is, I know this podcast is going a little long, but I feel it's very important to know is that uh, you see a lot of custom rods out there, but... And you see the prices. Um, that's one thing about Brandon is, is that Brandon works with the client to give you that price point, which you're still going to get a badass rod for what you want. So I got these rods in, and they are Cadillacs for Wahoo fishing. I mean, they are like ideal. So it's taken a few years to get these rods right. And last season, they weren't right. They weren't ready yet. They, the rods I had last year, they just weren't there. So these rods are here. They are like, they're exactly what we've been working towards over the years and so stoked for that. Also too, I'm, I have to, I build my own Wahoo lures. That takes time. I have to tie these lures. I have to make them. I have to paint them and I build my own custom. So all that stuff takes time. So we are in the process right now of getting ready to make that shift into the fall for more live bait fishing, we've added 20-foot outrigger poles for live bait fishing this year. Uh, we've just made a lot of adjustments that I haven't talked about. That's what I took a lot of time off uh, the podcasting was I did a lot of fine-tuning and I ran my charters. and made a lot of changes, so I did a lot of work just trying to get ready for this season while I was fishing. Mm -hmm. And so, you're working on a new course? And I'm working on a new course. Uh, I don't want to say what they are, but I'm in the process of working on a couple, actually. So uh, I don't even know what they are. Yeah. So, Top secret. So I'm really trying to get this stuff out, but I have to tell you, it's it's um, you know, one thing about the courses is is that I, I I want I'm trying to give you guys some really good stuff, so that's why it's taken a long time, and. So, yeah. Yeah, and, and that's good. That's being yourself and operating within your own zone of genius and not rushing it and just putting out some junk. So yeah, and everybody asks me, well, you, that, when so. they talk about the YouTube thing and the courses, I go, you have to dig around for like maybe 10 years to find stuff. On YouTube? <laughs> On YouTube. I know, I'm kind of it's, I'm over it, looking so. at that myself. It's in like terms of when you keep digging and digging and digging. How much time do you actually have? I, I don't have that yeah. much time. Right. So I'm working on some stuff that's going to bring you up to speed pretty quickly. So yeah. we're going to be right there. Yeah, so. awesome. And then I am super excited. I have content creation success strategies, which, which launches on September 15th. I'm also doing a free masterclass, kind of like a prelude to that 12-week program, which will be on September 8th. So this coming Wednesday, if you're listening to this podcast right after it releases. And that will be in Facebook, in the uh, Facebook group, Content Creation Success Strategies. And I will put that in the show notes. And during that Facebook live, I will be announcing another little special thing that I'm going to do that came to me at 2 a.m. yesterday morning when Ryan and I both woke up and started having a discussion. So <laughs> I had an idea pop into my head. So I'm going to talk about that on the live on 9-8. So I hope you join me. And I think that's it. I think this is a long podcast. So um, it's a holiday weekend. Maybe people will be like, yay, something a little longer. Yeah. Make sure you turn in the, I just uploaded a fishing report for the holiday weekend. So um, yeah, we just hope everyone has a very safe holiday weekend. Um, we all know what safety means. So I hope that everyone just stays safe and healthy 
and lots of blessings to everyone out there. Thank you so much for listening. Connect with me on any of the socials. And Captain Ryan, how do they get hold of you? Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Good Karma Sport Fishing underscore FL underscore Keys. You can email me at Good Karma Ryan at gmail.com. And you can also check out my website for information on the fishing charters, and that's goodkarmasportfishing.com. Awesome. Thank you so much for listening. Yes, thanks, guys. And remember, anytime you're fishing, it's all good.